Afternoon Distance Workshop. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be reviewing Unsealing um, by Ivelisse Hausman. Hausman? One of those. Um, <laughs> this is a book that I don't think it gets enough attention to be perfectly honest. I loved it. I thought it was really good and it was very unique. And here's the gist of it. So it follows two si sisters, Isolde and Iselia. They're twins, but not in the traditional sort. When they were, when Isolde was a child, she was stolen from the Fae. She was stolen by the Fae and replaced with the Changeling. So her mom decided to take the Changeling child, Iselia, and she went to the Fae court and petitioned for her daughter. They gave her a challenge. You can take whichever daughter you claim. She claimed them both. She was like, okay, well then I'm taking them both. They're both mine now. And they let her walk out of the fake court with two children. So, and she raised Celia as her own and loved her as her own. And you see that throughout the memories that um, Celia has throughout the story. And that's what I loved about the pacing and the storytelling is you're at this pivotal moment. They're doing a heist because that's what they do. They have to, in order to survive. They're thieves. You don't know quite why they ran away from home. Um, that information is given to you at a later point. My point, my point in that is I love that the author gives you important bits of history at pivotal moments in the story without ruining the pacing. It's like, oh, this happened and that's why that's important to this moment in the story. And that explains so much about the sisters, their dynamic, and their life. And it happens throughout the story. Important information is given to her. And I like that. Well, not given to her, given to you, the reader. I like that because it doesn't disrupt the pacing and it doesn't ruin the story or the plot. And in fact, it adds to it. It also gives the character dynamics more enrichment, you know? it makes it more compelling because the sisterly bond between them, they have their ups, they have their downs, they have different directions and how they want to live their lives, but they, at the end of the day, love each other. Isolde loves her sister, even though she's not really her sister. She's a changeling. But to Isolde, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. What's also really engaging about the story and another reason why I think it deserves a lot more attention is because your main character, Isilia, is on the autistic spectrum. I don't think you see enough stories with autistic characters as your main characters. Maybe as a side character, but she is your main character. And the author herself, um, if you read about her in the author's note and, you know, about me, she was diagnosed with autism at age 15. And she's like, oh, that makes so much sense, literally. That's a quote from her um, her website on her About Me page. She's like, it makes so much sense. I can relate. Um, <laughs> um, and you see that in her characterization of Iselia. She feels very real. She's very She feels very authentic. And to me, I think you can see the author put in a lot of her personal experiences and a lot of how she interprets the world into building up Estelia because she is neurodivergent, but she doesn't fall into any stereotypes. But you can tell she is on the spectrum. And I really, really like that. I like that. I, like that. I thought it was engaging. I thought it gave her a little bit more vitality. And I'm also here for more representation when it comes to storytelling. And I think it's great that the author decided, hey, I don't see enough of people like me in books, so I'm going to go ahead and write my own book. I thought that was so good. And I thought it was so cool that she decided to do that and had the courage to do that. I really think it deserves way more attention because of that. It is very descriptive, but I think that goes very in line with how this character sees the world 
And again, it adds more to the story and it adds more to the, her journey overall because you're seeing her, she feels like she's less than. She feels like as a changeling, she is less than. And she has these magical powers, you know, she has fey magic in her veins. And she's just, she thinks it's nothing but just destructive and hurts people. But her sister and their newfound friends, they love her for who she is. They accept her for who she is. And in fact, they push her to learn to accept herself as she is. And I love that she goes on this journey of self-love and comes out of it kind of a badass, honestly. She's just like, you mess with me and mine, I will hurt you. And I love that about her, that she's really coming into her journey. She's really coming into herself. She's really coming into her magic and her power and accepting herself for who she is and not seeing herself as less than because she's not less than. And that to me was probably the best part of the story. Um, I like the Faye aspect. I like that it wasn't, you know, what's trending right now with Faye romances. It was Faye oriented, but it wasn't a Faye romance. Um, not to hate, I'm not hating. It's just, I like something that's different. <laughs> I do like the slow burn romance, but again, that's kind of like a second factor in the story. He's a sweetheart. I will say he's a sweetheart. It is a second factor in the story. You're more focused on her and her development and her character growth and her learning self-love first and foremost, while she's also trying to deal with all these other feelings that she's developing. So overall, I'll have to give it four, soft four and a half out of five stars. Um, highly recommend it though. Really think everyone should check it out. Um, I will include links in the description below on where you can purchase the book. And on that note, I hope you all will continue to support me here by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with all your book-loving friends. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy reading!